This is the IA Podcast, now offering lost and found services for your burritos and chimichangas. Today on the podcast, Brian has a cold, that's why he sounds like complete utter crap. And we talk about the Zelda CDI games remade into 3D animated versions. We talk about the World of Warcraft private server that is being taken down. We get into discussions about scientists facing off against each other in a Mortal Kombat type of game. There is Guild Wars 2 news, and uh, somebody got into the Overwatch beta. Yeah, should be a good one, so uh, stick around. Hello and welcome to the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast. This is episode five. Today is April the 15th, 2016. I have some awesome people here today. Let's start off with uh, Schrodinger's cat. Say hi, man. Hello. I have Dude Run, the amazing Dude Run. Say hi. Hello, my name is Dude Run and I like the butt sex. <laughs> we have we have the amazing Mel. Say hi, Mel. I am Mel and I love everyone. Aw, that's so Aww. sweet. And we have the amazing Fire Touch McGee. And they are amazing. So how's everyone doing today? I mean, it's been a week since we've last recorded, so there should be some type of stuff that, you know, we've been up to since then. Um, oh, hail the tits. <laughs> oh, Beautiful. No, the I love it. The, the half an hour tits. Wow. I love it. <laughs> okay, oh, that is perfect timing, honestly. Uh, so what, uh, dude? One, what have you been doing, man? Nothing new. Well, that's... No, I did get my tax return, so I ordered some new games and some things in the mail. So yeah, oh, that's awesome. Nice. So you haven't really been playing anything or anything new, anything well, old. I always play things because I'm a YouTuber, but nothing like super super new. Okay, nice. It's like things I've either missed as a child or things that I had to scour the internet for to find to play for YouTube and stuff. So. <laughs> okay, nice. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, how about you, Shro? What have you been up to? Um, Mostly just playing some Rocket League and crying about school and how I've essentially lighted $2,600 on fire because I'm getting horrible grades this semester. Oh, damn. So basically, this is exactly the same thing that happened last week. Pretty much, yeah. It's just yeah. the sob story of my life until another month goes by. And one more month. So, I mean, we did just have an exam today. Though I did, you know, I recently discovered caffeine pills, and I ingested over 700 milligrams of caffeine in less than 20 hours. I'm, so, I'm so glad you said milligrams, because when you said 700, I thought you were going to say 700 pills. And at that <laughs> point, I was like, I think, you, I think you might have a little bit of a problem there. Are you sure you're not dead yet? <laughs> you yeah. Are you sure Guys, you're not I talking? I see all of the colors. All of them. <laughs> including Virtual Do you mean hear the colors? <laughs> yeah, I can hear, hear the, the colors. Hear the colors, see time, feel space. <laughs> I can Taste see space. everything, guys. Like, you think you guys see everything, but it's, like, everything. And then it's just, like, mind-blown. I know? can taste farts from another country over. <laughs> oh, my. It's, like, so one of those, like, worst superpowers things. You can probably taste, <laughs> you can taste right farts. Mm. <laughs> that would be the best superpower ever. <laughs> no, for wouldn't. someone else to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just say it. Be the worst to have. <laughs> it would be the worst to personally have, yes. But can you imagine you're just hanging out with like a friend or something, and all of a sudden he just makes like this really weird face, <laughs> and then <laughs> like, oh oh god, really? <laughs> the shitty hot dogs at the gas station, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? God damn it, Ophelia! How many times have we told you you shouldn't be eating there? <laughs> Oh. I like that you have friends named Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got out of that. <laughs> oh, good times. How wow. about you, Mel? What have you been up to this past week? Oh, what I have been playing is Overwatch. Oh. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? What? Yeah. One of my friends got into the close beta and he's lending his account to us every now and then and I get to play it. I am so freaking jealous right now. I had <laughs> no idea. Oh my god. Oh, and how do you like it? Huh? 
how do you like it? How do you like it? Oh, I love it so much. Uh, oh. I'm so excited for it for you guys to get it so that I can play with you guys because I know during TF2 our skill level are so far off. So no. <laughs> and I'm so bad at shooter games. At least in this one, I can like play other characters that their skills make up for my horribleness in shooter. Right, and that's one of the great things about this game is that you don't actually have to be like a good like Twitch based like FPS gamer in order to be able to be effective and contribute to your team. You know, you can totally yeah. derp out like, uh, like say in TF2, you know, you have like the um, engineer guy. So there's a bunch of classes, more classes like that in this game. So that's one of the things that's really exciting for people that are not say you know Call of Duty. <laughs> kind of players aside so. from that you know blizzard loves their uh comeback so it feels so rewarding when you're like losing and then in the span of 10 seconds you just turn the freaking whole game over oh, and man. you just won and you're like 10 seconds away from losing and then everyone gets so desperate everyone just push and then once you get there you're like oh yeah we won we were losing <laughs> You gotta love those games where you just come back with a vengeance and you're just like, yeah, we're gonna do this, guys. And then you I do also, it. I also really, really love the like character varieties. Jesus Christ, uh, I'm not gonna stop talking, someone stop me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do have a lot of them, honestly. Like, I remember when they first announced the game, I honestly thought they had only shown like a couple of characters, and I figured, okay, they'll probably have a little bit more, um, you know, just to be probably as many as like team fortress 2 but like you look at it now i'm just like dude like there's so many characters like i don't even i i don't even know how long it's gonna take me in order to like memorize all of them you know like it was just like they're all over the place too which is amazing so not only is there a lot of characters but they're very different and unique oh and one of the things i love when uh when playing overwatch again and again the characters that you don't play, you get to learn them by playing against them. Oh, nice. That's yeah, always like, good, right? Uh, you figure out their strategy, where the, uh, where the snipers usually hide, where the turret usually places himself. So you get to like, oh, when I play that guy, I'll go there. <laughs> I'm also getting extremely obsessed with this freaking game that I'm also like already looking into like uh, what the future content may be. Uh, content, maybe. Because when I look into the previous trailers i see characters there that are not currently in the game and they look really important so i'm like i want to see that guy <laughs> yeah it's all the exciting stuff right now with that game and oh my god and it's coming out when like sometime next month i think i have no idea <laughs> like <laughs> next <laughs> month on the 25th i think as i was looking at it just now yeah so i mean that's fairly soon we're only a little bit over a month <gasps> away so, so excited it's going to be the best, guys. I That is definitely one of those games that I'm going to be twitching once I get back into it. So look I, out for I, wasn't, that. I didn't even want to get it. <laughs> if my friend didn't, like, force me to play it for a few or, like, played it in the big screen in front of me, I would have been, like, I would have been all about, oh, it's another cartoony mobile shooter. shooter. I don't want to play it. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like, Ah, man, I'm just, I'm so excited for this game. I'm so happy for you, though, that you played it and you're into oh. it. And, <laughs> and so that just means one more person that we're going to get to, that's going to be playing that game. So you, it's a awesome. must get, guys. It's a must awesome. get. Awesome. I'll let you know, you know, if they ever let me in in the uh, closed beta or anything. Oh, open beta coming soon. Yes. If you guys pre-order, you guys have a, I think, confirmed spot in the open beta. Yeah, I think that happens in a month, I think, or yeah, in like 15, yeah, something around there in a month. It's a little bit earlier, so get in on the ground floor. Yeah. And how about you, Fire Tits McGee? What have you been up to this past week? I'm uh, looking for work and I'm running. Um, Game-wise, um just the typical guild wars but we've been having a, a, a bit of fun with things like me and dude run and engineered a jumping puzzle last night oh, and yeah. it's awesome wait what do you mean like you've engineered a jumping puzzle like we made a jumping puzzle 
Yeah. Out of the super clouds you can get from the super adventure box, we made a jumping puzzle that takes us all the way up to like the um, top of the pillars in in the guild hall. Mm -hmm. Out of all the super clouds, he even made it so the clouds actually float in the air. It takes a lot of <gasps> trickery yes. to do that. It's <gasps> freaking awesome. That's awesome. I didn't actually know you could do like jump puzzles within the. We guild didn't hall. either, but we did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes some like tricky <gasps> placement of everything, and then you can place items on other items, and then like delete the items that are underneath. Kind of, yeah, that and sounds then amazing. You delete them a certain way, and then all of a sudden, boom! You have a floating thing in the middle there. <laughs> that sounds like fun, actually. I'll have to log back in and check that out for shizzles. Um. By the way, I just I was actually just browsing through a couple of things today, and who's familiar with the Zelda games on CDI? Oh god! I know how terrible they were, but <laughs> yeah. I've never played them. Good. I've never played them either. I... Are those the kind of animated ones? Yeah, it, it's yes, it's the animated one. We're not talking about the cartoon, like the the television cartoon animated ones, uh, but yes, it was the it was the uh, the game animated one. Is this the excuse me, princess? No, that's, no, no, that's no, the that's that's TV that show. One. Yeah, that's okay. a TV like, show. Yeah, but no, we're talking about the actual CDI game that it where was. The animated king has as well. lines. It was and the only this guy on a flying carpet. They were the only Zelda games that were not made by Nintendo. They were made yeah. by a different company. Nintendo and, didn't endorse them. And it's very obvious that Nintendo didn't do them because they sucked terribly. They were terrible. Mm -hmm. And even the cutscenes were kind of just like a little bit all over the place. It was just like, you were looking at him and it was just like, what the hell is going on? Like that guy's face just turned into big giant lips. Like what is going mm -hmm. on? And you know, somebody case, melted. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling Nintendo's <laughs> trying to forget about it. Oh, I'm pretty sure, yes, oh. because they, it, it never comes up <laughs> anywhere except, you know, when people talk about that forgotten game that everyone's trying to forget about. But the thing oh, is, if like, only we'd let why them. are we unearthing it then? Because it's been unearthed for, by everybody. For some reason, for some reason, people decided, hey, you know what? That game is fairly old. You know, the cutscenes are fairly old. How about we update it into 3D? Oh, God. So apparently somebody has gone has put the time and effort into actually recreating those cutscenes all in 3D. And like, oh exactly my. the way they are? Pretty much the way they are, yeah. And it's just kind of like... With all its shitty dialogue and stuff. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. with all the shitty dialogue. Yeah, and, and yeah, and I was actually just watching it uh, not too long ago, and I was just like, wow, that is just... <sighs> I don't. I really don't know why they did this, but I just thought it was something funny I could share with all of you. It's probably the reason why, and they found it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. It's been honestly, a pretty big thing on the weird side of YouTube, where people took the cutscenes and spliced them into God knows what <laughs> music videos. YouTube poop. Yeah. Um, all mm. on that dark side of, of YouTube. You know, the side mm. that, like, we only go when we've, like, followed, like, a really weird chain of different videos. And it's, like, yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning. And you're like, well, I started looking at cat videos. How the hell did I get up until, like, you know, well, this? I'm at the weird I feel side like this is Reddit again. every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there oh. is a subreddit where in they dedicate themselves into finding weird YouTube videos. That are not that popular at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I like gotta it's... find that one. Well, there you go. Awesome. Wait, it was sent to me. I'm gonna link you this. Thank okay. you. Does anybody uh, play Dark Souls? I have been meaning to get into the first one. Okay, I played a little bit of the first one on my old system back in the day, uh, but I so I actually need to play it on my new system where I'm sure it'll run a lot, lot better. Because one of the things about that game is timing, believe it or not. So if your computer kind of just, you know, chugs and lags a lot, you're good. You're not going to have a good time. You're going to die. A what, what do you mean, believe it or not? 
I don't know. I'm pretty saying, sure we believe that Dark Souls <laughs> is all about timing and suffering. Oh, for here so- it is. For some reason, in case if you don't believe it, but it's crazy to find right. out that they're already on the third one, though. Yeah, apparently oh. the uh, the third Dark Souls games already came out, so uh, yeah, you have a lot of catching up to do, dude. I will never yes. ever get into the so franchise. Do I. I you mean, that's kind of how I feel about Fallout and Far Cry. Yeah. You guys are masochists. <laughs> oh yeah, the subreddit with the weird uh, collecting collections of YouTube stuff is called r slash deep into YouTube. Deep into YouTube? Yep. Okay. Like, Thank you. Like the YouTube. deep web for YouTube. Into the deep annals and bowels of YouTube. <laughs> I used to come from there. Oh my! <laughs> Listen, we don't need to know where you, you know. Yes, you do. Admit. What what you used to uh, get off on there, but oh, you know you like it. <laughs> I don't think YouTube or SoundCloud does, but you know, whatever. For sure. Well, apparently, if you're into fighting games as well, there is a. Uh, Fighting game where we're the world's greatest scientists try to kick each other's ass. Really? <laughs> yeah. So if you... Oh, I've seen that. The so... animation is so good. Honestly, yes. I like the way it looks. And it's funny because you see, like, you know, it's like you have, like, Darwin versus Curie. And you see Darwin, he turns into, like, a monkey ape kind of gorilla dude whenever he does, like, his special punches. And it's like, dude, that's just amazing. <laughs> I I need to see this. You have, you, like, see, uh, you have Stephen Hawking's in his wheelchair, yeah, and he Hawking. does like <laughs> he he has like a jetpack type of thing on it, and just like his his little on screen monitor is like a punching thing. It's like oh my god, dude! <laughs> like how is that? And then well, what else? We have like Newton versus Einstein. Oh man, that is amazing. Definitely need to check that out, guys. If not just for the graphics alone, like, yeah, the, the art style is really nice on it. What is it called? Uh, let's see. What is it called? That is a good question. Have you guys uh, been updating on The Division? The Division. I have not. No. I, part, I, I will be honest. The main reason I haven't been paying attention to the division right now, it goes back to my school problems. Any of the big games that I'm not already invested in, I'm just kind of like bookmarking them and then shoving all those bookmarks under the rug because I'm like, I just don't even want to think about it right now. But when before the semester started, I was pretty excited for the division, despite the fact that Ubisoft pulled an Ubisoft and neutered the shit out of it and then took that shit and neutered it some more and it's like really you have all these good ideas and you don't act on Plus, them. Yeah. <laughs> that being me. said i still want to get the division and give it a shot honestly me too but as Cheryl pointed out you know it's like it's it really is a lack of time for a lot of things so i would definitely like to get into it but as soon as i find some time and you know i'll, I'll end up getting it I'm hearing a lot of people loving it, but the some of the what's what's it called the deep area mechanic kind of scares me. Oh right, the um, I forget what it's called, the dead zone, something. Something like that. Uh, when you try to exit the area, people can shoot you and then grab whatever you're holding. Pretty much, yeah. So it's it that has a little bit stressful. of a uh, uh, yeah, it has a little bit of a dangerous system to it. But, but I, I mean, those... like for the people that are really looking for the adrenaline rush. Right. Yeah. Or just people that are, you know, able to get a group of people together and just stroll on in there and mess all the stuff up. But yeah, apparently that game is called Science Combat and that's combat with a K. Uh, OK. <sighs> oh. The fighting I game. I feel like this was the a pun game. that I missed. Mortal Kombat. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Science combat with a K. Okay. Oh, yeah. Boo, yeah. Boo, hiss. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, I have been playing Bioshock Infinite. I was going to ask you, how are you liking Infinite? 
You know what, man? That I think I mentioned it last time, but like that beginning part. Oh my god, amazing! Like I must have taken at least at least thirty screenshots. You know, like every two steps that I would take, I'd be like, "Oh my god, this looks beautiful." Screenshot. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. Screenshot. I got a screenshot. That screenshot. It's like, yeah, dude, that game looks amazing. Um. Gameplay wise, like it's pretty solid. It's very, you know, it's what you would expect from a Bioshock game if you've played the first Bioshock. I'm having a little bit of trouble kind of like staying into the story part of the game. Like it's a little bit, com- it's not as compelling as, you know, yeah, other games. Um, just because it feels like there's a lot of a, uh, oh, this is where we need to get, but in order to get this, we need to go to place A and then place B first. So is this like after yeah. a couple, after doing that a couple of times, I'm just like, okay, fine. Does that happen like repetitively? A few times in Infinite, though it's been a while since I played it. Yeah, I feel like it's happened at least three times now, and I'm six hours in. Oh yeah, so. I hate that. It's one yeah. of the reasons why I stopped playing Destiny. Oh, don't I just... get us started on Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got so free pissed with the robot, and was like, "Oh, I'm doing something. You need to protect me." Jesus Christ! Can we have another other, another type of quest or something? <laughs> can we protect a, a royalty or whatever? Ooh, escort quests. They're <laughs> so much fun <laughs> escort quests are the best i still remember in infinite um one of the best glitches i've gotten in a game was it was an area that there was a sealed door that didn't open until you killed all of the enemies and somehow one of these motherfuckers clips himself into a main structure in the middle of the map. That is not something you can get into. It's just a set piece. Mm-hmm. And I figured it out because he'd every now and then shoot and I could see the like gun blast in the wall. <laughs> and like his gun would stick out of it every now and then. But I couldn't shoot him. He couldn't shoot me. Couldn't hit him. Do anything about it. I I remember spending like a fucking hour doing every crazy thing I could think of to kill this shit of a bitch. <laughs> and I ended up having to just crash the game and reload it from the previous save oh. from like two areas prior and just do everything over again. Because it just glitched so fucking hard. Ugh. I hate that. Like whenever something is stuck behind the... um like a set piece or something like honestly the worst and most frustrating thing is when it happens in multiplayer games like i remember could have been like about a month or two ago when we were playing team fortress 2 and someone was like all the way out there on like almost like on the end of the box map or whatever you call it the uh and um they had the uh, freaking turrets with the uh with the missiles and stuff like that. And oh my god, it was just like right by the spawn area too. So it was like, you, as soon as you would step out, it's like, boom, you were dead. Worst Ooh. time ever. Yeah. So, screw those guys. Whether they be AI or actual players, screw you guys. <laughs> screw you guys. Yeah. Just flip it off. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> Exert your will in their face. <laughs> send them off. But other than that, I'm actually enjoying this game. I've been in a bit of a uh, first-person shooter type of uh, vibe. You know, I've been kind of feeling it. Played uh, played Wolfenstein, yeah. And then now Infinite. And uh, we'll see what happens next. You know, I mean, Doom 4 is coming out soon. So that seems oh, like yeah. Ratchet and Clank is out, too. Speaking different. of stuff we talked about last week. Okay, there you go. Girlfriend's loving Ratchet and Clank. Oh, nice. I didn't realize it's actually a reboot. It's not continuing anything. It's a reboot of the series. Yeah, I don't know. Ah. 
Oh, I'm assuming like that you. one will only be on PlayStation 4, though. Well, Ratchet, is, uh, Ratchet and Clank is a title that deserves a reboot. I would actually love to play it because I missed it during my childhood. Mm. Mm. Yeah, honestly, like a lot of those games, they kind of like skimped over. And I would definitely like to revisit them. Like there's the Ratchet and Clank, Jack, was it Jack and Daxter? Those guys. Yeah, Jack and, and Daxter. Oh, there. yeah. And there was another oh, one. Was the, um... Crash Bandicoot. Oh, my God. Uh, Crash Bandicoot. Yes, I still remember okay. those days. I still remember the Crash Bandicoot days. Those were good days. Playing uh, Crash Bandicoot. And for Bandicoot some reason, worked. Frogger. <laughs> Wait, Frogger <laughs> as in like the old, old, old arcade cabinet or Frogger for like the PlayStation 1? The PlayStation 1. That's what I got to play. I actually ended up oh, making yeah. that game as well. It was funny. I ended up getting that game and I remember distinctly when I got it because I was one of those games that was packed in with an additional memory card for the original PlayStation 1. Oh yeah. So, so I remember that's yeah, that's what I remember about that game. And it was funny because they had different levels too, you know. It wasn't just like the one where you were crossing the streets. But I think yeah, they had I really like, loved the game design of that one. Yeah, they had like um what was it? Like one was in the forest with the fireflies. There's another one it was like an industrial thing where the things would kind there of drop you into the lava freaking halloween level but for some reason as a kid scared me oh man it just it just goes in sheets but i don't i don't know why I, I still remember being scared of them no i mean i'm sure you know it's it happens a lot to a bunch of us when we were kids i mean <laughs> does anybody have any other games that they were kind of scared of as kids that they i remember? used to be scared of the game i had a demo of called jersey devil that sounds that? scary it's a platform game about a really cartoony hero it wasn't a scary game it just i was not used to the visuals as a kid so it scared the shit out of me you are literally the jersey devil and you go around saving people or something from hell oh, oh okay. you're a devil yeah. Jersey Devil. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm actually checking it out right now. It looks like very... It looks very 1990s or early... Two th yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot. Another one was Tomba. Tomba. You were scared of Tomba? Oh, oh shit. No, I was thinking, like, games I want to see rather than games I was scared of. Never oh. mind. No, that's what I was asking. Because I remember when I was a kid, I actually had... Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. Oh. And if you've seen that game on the Sega Genesis, and you'll see that it's it looks pretty realistic as far as like you know, like the characters and the dinosaurs. Um, it wasn't very animated. Oh, it looked I see actually it. looked yeah, it looked actually pretty realistic. So I remember as a kid, um, whenever there was like the uh the guy, the dude with the long neck, whatever that dinosaur is called. Or the T Rex, where it would just kind of crash into the scene, and then all you would see is it's like its huge giant it's head. Free head. Yeah, and I was like, oh my god, I can't play this anymore. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> was, you know, being a little kid, I just I remember the that. The front view, that's pretty scary. The what now? The front view of the uh, T Rex. Yeah. Like, <laughs> his eyes are just tiny red dots. <laughs> Pretty's. Pretty much, yeah. I, so. I wouldn't have been able to play this game at all. No, no. It was, yeah, it took me a couple of years in order to get my nerves up to, to finish that game. <laughs> that freaking long neck looked like something that came from a creepy pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let me see if I can actually find it now, because that is just like... A link oh, to yeah. freaking long neck for you guys. Yeah, Here no, you I go. see it. I see it. I don't oh, think man. I had any games that were scary. There were movies I oh, God. that were scary. <laughs> Oh God! It's staring into your soul. <laughs> all the staring. It's like it's just never eight, and all the face fats just like showing it. Not like it's just all around its skull. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. Yeah. So you know that took me a while in order to to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> This is pretty uh. scary. Oh, another thing I'd like to mention. Uh, last last week, 
I was finally able to play D and D. Oh, nice! For nice. the first time ever, or for the first time ever. Ah. Fucking nerd. <laughs> so okay. Freaking awesome! I'm actually surprised with the amount of character create, uh, the amount of detail in the character creation. Aside from all the stats, you can like put your uh, character's background, what the the weaknesses of your character story wise, mm -hmm. and then what what has happened to them in the past and stuff like that, and then your if you want to become a little bit of like a special snowflake and you're looking for uh, roles and titles that are uh, usually don't happen, like for example, uh, our DM allowed this that I can be a death cleric that is of hermit background. So that's cleric is supposed to be healing, but instead of healing, I am a necromancer cleric. And my background is hermitage. Like, I've been away from people for so long. <laughs> so all the things that you rise from the dead, those are your friends now? Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's awesome. I, like, the <laughs> Puppy! All the puppies. Puppy! Doggy Sorry intermission! One of the yeah, honestly, one of the nice things about Dungeons and Dragons is that the amount of detail and backstory that you can put into your characters. Really, I mean, it's all up to how much you want to put into it. It really is up to how much you want to put into it, and well, obviously as well, how much the dungeon master. Or the game. Yeah, master like you can just you can you. actually you can actually just make a character for playing and like just deal with the stats whatsoever and then look for the stats that you want, that's done. But if you really want to get into the role playing side and then start Oh, this is my character. I've actually I think I am putting way too much effort in it compared to the other players in our in our group because now I'm like designing the character, I'm creating drawings and like how her parents look like, what kind of what kind of uh, clergy, like what why her parents decided to go into hermitage, why is she a necromancer, why is her uh, why is her patron deity Celestian instead of a the idea of God, uh, death or something like that. It's freaking crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm glad to hear you're having so much fun. Yeah, honestly, like, I mean, you, you being as the creative person that you are, it just, it means you can have as much fun as you want, really, just creating this kind of character. Just can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I mean, what's great, too, about having such an awesome backstory like that is that you can really pull from that whenever it gets to a moment where you have to make, you know, decisions or your character needs to make decisions, you know, so you can kind of pull back on that and be like, okay, well, this is the kind of person my character is. So how would my character react to this situation? Yeah. And then you can really get into like some really cool. Well, if you have a good dungeon master or game master, you can get into some really, really awesome kind of epic uh, just scenes where there isn't really any fighting, but it's just uh, amazing stories being told. At the same time, I'm, I'm probably like making it look like we're playing it seriously, mm -hmm. but the people I'm playing it are like freaking idiots. <laughs> like the, <laughs> their characters are freaking idiots. Like one of them, every time he sees a girl, he just hits on them. <laughs> That's amazing, like, he's honestly. That, he's that, those are dude, those are the best groups to play with. The ones yeah, that don't take themselves seriously. The character that's like, hey, they come here often. <laughs> <laughs> totally like, reminds me of summer geeks summer geeks oh oh okay i forget which game i know it probably would have been ps1 came out and at the very beginning of it they or at the end of it they had a a um a video of um some characters playing D D, and it was called mm -hmm. summer geeks and like one was a troll and he was at a bar getting drunk 
And his last line in the whole thing was, hey, there are girls there. I want to tell them. You got any chills? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta look it up. You guys have never seen that? No, no. I've never heard of it. Oh my goodness, mm. let me find a few. Oh, Sounds do you guys good. remember those old adventure games? Uh, like what, like Zork? Um. No, like, with more graphics than Zork. Like, you can actually... <laughs> see... <laughs> I'm sorry, I mean, that's, I, I that's think it was text. before... I, I thought it was before my time, Zork. <laughs> but for some reason, whenever you say old adventure games, it's the first one that comes to yeah, mind. Yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Well, it's also becoming popular recently, Zork. This is true, yes. Uh, did they ever make a Zork 3D? Because that is just... I, I feel like that would just defeat the whole purpose of Zork. It's part of the fun, trying to figure out where you are in a freaking text-based game. Pretty much, eh? Oh, there's also the... Path to something. I forgot the title. It's a... You play as a guy... Mm -hmm. uh, driving a caravan and you're supposed to like survive a whole a whole uh, adventure from it's freaking old oh my god I can't remember it right, we're not talking about uh, or Oregon Trail are we is oh there you called? go Oregon Trail yes it is what? I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you died of dysentery <laughs> yeah oh is it called we even named, uh, we had a wife, and then a second girl, and then a son. Mm -hmm. And the, the wife and the son died, and we were thinking that, oh, it's probably the machinations of the second girl. <laughs> so that he can have the guy all for herself. Oh, that's insane. I have a funny story about that. Once my, my brother had to write a report. For um, digit, uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, it's just kind of like a history site. Anyway, they hold a writing contest for school kids every year. My my brother wrote his report solely on the video game and won for the region. On the video game about the Oregon Trail, not any actual books. No. No way. <laughs> Wait, and they yep. thought they thought it was legit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Gamers, man, we can cheat life. Pretty much. I mean, that's like the that's I, I would have said that's the equivalent of you know being in grade school and being like, okay, you have to write a report or a something of like I don't know, freaking Cinderella, and then you end up watching the Disney movie Cinderella. In order to write your book report, but this is better. Just play a freaking game. It's really, really freaking harsh. Like at some point, we had six cows, and we're like, "Oh, we're not gonna buy any extra cows because more than six is freaking is a freaking waste." Next thing you know, thief takes four of them. No, oh, no. Yeah, the, the two the two cows gets. What just happened? <laughs> we were rich and. And then all of a sudden, we had nothing. Oh, man. Speaking of cows, how about those, uh, <laughs> how about those awesome cow levels? There is no cow level. What? Well, I mean, you know, now there is in Diablo 3. No, there's not. There's a crazy cow level. There's no cow level. They're attacking you and stuff. No, no, there's not. No? Are we in denial? No. You, no. Are you saying that there's, there's a no Diablo level. 3 level that is basically like the cuckoos from Zelda? <laughs> it's I basically... love the cuckoos from Zelda. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, good times. Very good. But hey guys, I finally finished Season 5 in Diablo 3. Woo! So, yes! And it only took me the entire 3 months that Season 5 was on. <laughs> Because I kind of suck like that. And yeah, season five is wrapping up today at 5 p.m. So uh, I made crap. it just I'll in time. Until then to beat it. Because I'm, um, yeah. Oh, damn. Better get on it. Better get on it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You'd have to play it on, from now all the way for like freaking several hours. Yeah. I'd rather 
play Overwatch that I just bought while the stream was going on. We <laughs> seriously podcast. bought Overwatch yeah. like right oh, now. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh yeah, duty. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Dude, I'm done with my money. Did you just call him duty. Yeah, yes. I always call him. Look duty, at his yes. freaking duty. Do you know what his freaking duty, duty, duty means? In yes, in she does. Okay. This is explaining. Making sure. I'm allowing it. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> duty. Yes. <laughs> yes, Overwatch. Yes. yes. I'm I, happy. See, I keep I'm forgetting proud. that it's actually purchasable now. Are yeah. You thinking that's not going to happen for another couple weeks. It's a pre-order you're, thing. You pre-order it, you're going to have some free, pretty skins. Freaking pretty skins. Oh, the pretties. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's another thing I love. Uh, the stuff that you buy and the stuff that you get. Uh, the heroes are... Blizzard said, heroes are all going to be free. They don't want people to pay for heroes. Mm -hmm. Passes, that's good. And the stuff that you'll be buying and collecting are like TF2. They're mostly uh, skins. Pretty things. Okay. okay. Good. Probably anyway, also... I will be right back. I must go remove my eyes. Okay. What? Yeah. Have fun with that. She's gonna remove her eyeballs. Uh, she has contact. Kind of wedges it inside. Oh, okay. And... So sorry, Mel. You were saying? <laughs> I just imagined her with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna scoop up my eyes now. It's freaking gory. I, I was on the internet, guys. I've seen some things. <laughs> no. I've seen things. To be honest, you can totally remove the eyeball with very minimal damage and not even sever region of and the optic. And place it back. Totally. That's doable. so very fucked up, and I don't want to picture that. <laughs> God damn it, Shro. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people that can just open their eyes so wide it looks like it's gonna pop us. Oh, oh that. that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's like next day, it's like tomorrow morning in the news, we'll hear like somewhere in the North American region, there is a uh, crazy man just going around scooping eyes. He was last seen running away in a cat suit. <laughs> and then what? you oh see my. a reaction to someone bulging their eyes. I was like, what? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Good time. Followed by somebody else going. What do you mean, what? And their, their eyes are just googly eyes. <laughs> then I'll have somebody with those eyes that are on springs, like on glasses. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. That's amazing. Who looks at somebody Sorry, else who doesn't butts, have eyes. Butts. All the butts. And then somebody else comes into camera just to say, I fuck your mother right in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Wow, that just happened. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? I remember what? that. <laughs> Have you guys seen those at TV4? Yes, uh, yes, we've yeah. seen. I, I'm pretty sure oh, everyone man. here has seen them. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm just, riding the pussy. I'm just more amused by the fact that that just kind of came out of nowhere. was totally unprepared for that. <laughs> oh, no. It totally came out from the right field. Oh, fuck her right about reports. Well, to be fair, I mean, that's usually how it happens, right? Nobody's prepared for it. It just happens. <laughs> yeah. And then the, uh, the newscaster freaking freaks out. <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's pretty much what happens. Okay, I successfully removed. I can see now. Awesome. Did you? But you removed your eyes, so you can't see. <laughs> hey, I have a question. No, I have oh. a smart-ass remark for your answer. Am I able to pre-install Overwatch even though I haven't purchased the game? That I don't uh, know. Probably not. No. Because if I you can... had post beta, sure. Okay, because it's showing me here that I can install the game. <gasps> what? Yeah. Uh, do it then. <laughs> I am so doing it. Oh, yeah. Are you that sure it's just not like a client for it? Because Blizzard loves their clients. I don't, that's what Dude. I'm going to find out right now. I. They love most of their clients. Stop it. What? Stop it. What? No. What? That was one of the things we were going to talk about nope. tonight. Yes. What are we talking about? The pir private server shutting down for a while. Oh, right. oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. we what were was so caught up in everything. Uh, Nostalrius. Nostalrius. 
It was a vanilla server, one of the few good ones, or popular ones anyway, and it got shut down by Blizzard because apparently they don't like vanilla private servers that are popular. Because people think. Has Blizzard released an official statement yet why they got they shut it down or no? They just hit the. Now they just sent yeah. them a cease and desist and said, "Fuck you guys, you're too popular." Oh they, no, they they sent a letter to the server owners. They didn't like completely shut it down. I was pretty sure they sent them a cease and desist order. Yeah. Yep. Same it was. here. Yeah, Which, honestly. As far as letters go, it's usually a pretty nasty letter. <laughs> what? I no, imagine. I don't think so. Mel, have you gotten a cease and desist from an American company before? I've gotten fired, and the letter was pretty nice. It's not a cease, cease and, desist, and desist, though. is not the same thing. <laughs> it's like, not. you stop this shit now, or we will sue we'll, your we'll ass for all your worth. ruin you for the rest of your existence. Yeah. Can it be something nice, like, please? No. Americans aren't really good that. that. You know, Mel, that is so Canadian of you, and I totally get I'm that. I'm not Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> You're an honorary Canadian now. That is yeah. so not American or British of you. <laughs> really, British people are like that. Well, I do have a British, British friend, and, and he's a freaking asshole. British people are bigger pricks than Americans. Americans are just oblivious to <laughs> Whoa, them. whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> sure, I don't think we can pick on people from the country. I'm not no, stereotyping. No. Okay, okay. Cleaning right the now. bill. Cleaning the bill. I love freaking British people. I think they're freaking hot. Now, Mel, this is Mel. Waifu. This is Mel backtracking now. <laughs> and my friend is freaking hot. Canadians just guzzle maple it's like, syrup like, it's like gin. listen, listen, like they may be assholes, but he's freaking hot, okay? So <laughs> they're smoking as hell. Oh, uh, overcompensating there a bit. But yeah, <laughs> no, so that is this is like all honesty. <laughs> Pretty serious about it. All the serious. By the way, so it turns out that Overwatch is having an invite only beta test weekend. Um, huh. Did you get invited then? So I guess that's what this is. It is a that's a close beta beta invite. Oh nice for this <gasps> weekend for this weekend only. So I am going Which... to play the <gasps> hell out of this game. Wait, <gasps> okay. What Add did you just like name. randomly look at Overwatch and then get invited to the beta? Like, how did this happen? He might have I, been invited beforehand. And then I was no. Got the, install. the thing he is, he wasn't aware that he has the privilege to play. Exactly. Mm. So I Dude. don't know if I. Do you not I, check your email? No, I haven't checked my email in a while, so that's probably Dude. why. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, right? God. It's like the thing you need to check every day now that we're running a show. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I know. Um, hold Back on. Right. Let's 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 fix that a little bit because I'm sorry. This is 2016. Check your fucking email. <laughs> yes. I usually check mine every 20 minutes because I'm fucking looking for a job, and that's how people contact you now. Yeah. I run a YouTube channel. I have to check it every 10 disc, minutes. Disc, disc. I know. Brian, you know the, Brian, Brian. The problem is when you have too many email addresses, it's just like it's like. You, you tend That's to check when only you one. merge them and have them all forward to the same one. Or that you get Gmail like... on your phone and make them all Gmails, and then you just attach, it you just, just sign into each them. one individually, and then boom, you get all of it in one. All right, guys, I swear I'll get my shit figured out soon enough. That's cool, okay. kid. <laughs> and then we get Shro Twitter because he needs to get Twitter as well. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, actually, yeah, he kind of does need Twitter. Yes. I refuse the twatter. But what if people want to talk to you off the podcast? Exactly. Uh, they, they don't can have hit me up on Telegram, it. AIM, YIM, Google Hangouts, Steam, even fucking bloody Skype, which I hate with a passion to the end of days. I would avoid Skype, actually. Yeah, probably Skype, no. Like, Skype for close friends, because apparently some people can just steal your IP easier through that, or did they fix that? What? Um, remember hearing about you can like, get pretty much anybody's IP if you're connected to them. 
Unless there's some sort of proxy service that I don't know Skype is doing. I don't know. That's always what I heard that Skype was terrible. About like Skype is terrible because it has shit. horrific UI design. And it's clunky and poorly written. What does it now? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Skype is a horrible program and I will never give it an inkling of anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What was that? Dro says no! What? No, Shro! I heard don't like do a it. really giddy giggle. Uh, it was that adorable. Was me. That was <laughs> adorable. A giddle? A was giddle. A giddle. That's one of a my. Giddy giddy you having a bit of a chuckle there, mate? <laughs> Think it's up fucking fine? <laughs> What is happening? Have a wee bit of laugh there? What is Come happening? Come here, chuckle nuts. I'm gonna bust Tracers your kneecaps in. <laughs> Tracers love Tracers live. Yes. Pretty much. Alright, so apparently five gigabytes to go until I can play this. Fuck. I'm rendering a video, so I'm not it. doing shit. <laughs> Good times, guys. Did Anything we just, else we... Sorry? Did we just drop our, like main agenda topic yeah a little bit what was our main agenda topic I, I we were gonna talk about the guys what was the plan oh, right. oh yeah thing. we totally just went off on a weird tangent yeah <laughs> Ryan gets, hello and welcome like, to ia we do can't Overwatch. focus <laughs> nope <laughs> welcome to ia where nobody knows what's going on not including the hosts including everybody's too high not fuck him up bro god damn it Whoops! You had one job! <laughs> one freaking job. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so they got a cease and desist letter, I'm assuming. That's what happened. Yeah. Did anyone ever For go those on a that went and got server? coffee, we're back on the <laughs> WoW topic again. <laughs> uh, I have not played on a private WoW server, but I kind of wish I did, because I would have liked to try vanilla WoW back in the day. Right? Yeah, I started. I started vanilla. I started vanilla. I had my first character was a night elf priest. I was always alliance. Please don't judge me. Anyway, I'm judging you. <laughs> All the judging is happening. Silently judging you. I was a holy priest, but not a healer priest. I was a holy damage priest. Yes, they can exist and do well. <laughs> <laughs> holy damage. Holy damage. Damage numbers. All the damage numbers. Look at all those numbers go up. Ooh. How do you convince people to believe in your religion? You make them scream, oh my god, well, they're being killed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't even, don't even know. I, yeah. The really yeah, sad thing is, to... I was mid mid sip on a glass of water and I almost like choked on the water. Thank New you, Matt. Oh. It's a podcast <laughs> goal. Sorry, New podcast sorry. goal. Get fired that's McGee to choke on her beverage. <laughs> Edit that out. I said a real name again. God damn it. S quick, say fire tits McGee in like a really robotic voice. <laughs> Monotone voice. Fire tits McGee. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That should be good. We'll just splice that in. All right, guys. Um, I mean, like, honestly, a lot of people, yeah, seem to care about the server because there was Actually, a lot a of people on there. Friends that were on it. Yeah. And well. it's one of those things like I remember playing WoW in the early vanilla days, but I was always kind of a casual player. So I've seen kind of like the quality of life improvements. But I haven't really seen a lot of like what really made wow wow, you know, like the old raids and stuff like that. So it really would have been cool to kind of just go back and see how excruciatingly difficult all this stuff was to was, you know. How Before excruciatingly you could just difficult insta -scroll it was. Scroll to the top level and just pretty much. Smash. Yeah. Mm. What Level I don't four. understand is why wow uh, Blizzard would be so keen into putting them down. Considering it's it, not it is a free money, server, right? They're not controlling yeah. it, so. But they're the free. They're the biggest fish in the sea of MMOs. Which means they can't be taken down. Which means they could very well just do whatever they want to people if they I'll, want. So I'll tell you why they can take down shit. I'll tell you why. 
there's a new expansion coming out. If they shut down this server that has X amount of players on it, then maybe those players will be like, okay, well, you know, I still need to get my WoW fixed. And there's a new expansion coming out. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's buy the game, resub for a couple more months, and their numbers go up. And then all of a sudden, you know, all the shareholders are happy. Or you get all the people that loved vanilla WoW and hated all the expansions, and then they go to another private server instead which is probably more likely going to be the case. Probably what's happening right now. Yep. But the thing is, like, so they shut down, like, one server. Was this, like, the most popular private server? Seems it's like probably it. one of the more popular vanilla servers. Okay. Probably one of the biggest. Yeah. That's a shame. It's a shame. And then Blizzard at one of their... I think it was BlizzCon... Someone asked in the audience uh, whether they'd bring back legacy servers for older versions of WoW. And this was taken out of context, but the quote eh, that the dev said to them was, you don't want that. You think you do, but really you don't. I think I remember that response. Yeah. And he gave good points in full context, like why they, why they don't want to bring that to be a thing because there's no LFG, there's a bunch of bugs, but if people can code a legacy server, they can probably fix those bugs, and mm -hmm. I don't think Blizzard has an excuse there. Pretty uh, well, I mean, yeah, people can definitely fix stuff like that. Have you seen the Skyrim mod packs <laughs> out there? Half of them are for <laughs> fixed 600-something clipping meshes. <laughs> yes. Honestly, yeah, those mods are amazing. Like even the ones that are that adds more stuff into the already pre-existing towns, they add so much to it. It's makes it look so much better to the point where like when you remove those mods and then you go to like vanilla Skyrim, you're just like, "Wow, this town looks dead. There's mm. like nothing." What crap looks, am I looking at? Exactly. It looks brown and gritty. Yeah. <laughs> not pretty at all. No, not pretty at all. That's awesome. Like, they'll add, like, a whole bunch of trees and foliage, fauna, and, like... And do Bethesda's own Q&A for them, because apparently <laughs> they won't. Pretty much. <laughs> mm. Like, I mean, I love the scope, the grandness of the game itself, but honestly, yeah, they just... They need to get their shit together, yo. Bethesda's not known for their QA. <laughs> no. They're known for their crazy, amazing RPG storylines and clipping plants. All of the clipping plants <laughs> everywhere. All the clipping plants. In fact, there was a Reddit post I saw recently that someone liked me to. It was a, the plants at Bethesda's office, and somebody had photoshopped it, so the plants are like sticking halfway <laughs> through walls. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I know it's a Photoshop, it but part of me wants this to be real. <laughs> part of me just really wants... To... Oh, Actually, no, that's a lie. All of me really wants this to be real. Because it's like, maybe that's... Since that's the kind of world that they're living in, it's like, well, that's uh, normal. We gotta put that in our game. Okay, Bob, let's do it. They recognized the meme and then started applying it in their office. <laughs> That'd be amazing. This is it's all like, people, I'm... guys. Stop doing this. <laughs> Okay, Wilbert, we got to make this happen. <laughs> Put that plan over through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Be a times. bunch of weirdly tall, lanky nerds that don't go out in the sunlight enough just throwing plants through walls. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you get that plant through the wall? Because I'm weak. <laughs> I am all about stereotyping tonight. I don't know why. <laughs> Tro is so tired, he's sassy. All the sass. Sassy. All the sass. Well, on the other hand, I am halfway through downloading Overwatch, so this I podcast like how is getting a play by play of Overwatch downloading. <laughs> so from the this podcast. podcast is being renamed to like, you know, Overwatch on <laughs> Overwatch. Brian downloads Overwatch You're and rants with IA as he does it. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, man. Who do you think is going to be your main? 
I honestly do not know. Probably the guy that like has the um the twin probably hasn't pistols. even read the class list yet. He no, no, no. You know what? what? It's probably on. it's probably gonna be the guy with the twin pistols, and then whenever he needs <gasps> to reload, Reaper. he just yeah the re- and then he just throws Wait. away his guns and then just picks oh, yeah, up a new good. set from his coat. Yep. That's, That's probably Reaper. gonna be my main. Yeah. Because that Reapers. is badass. Either I'm that or he's Slipers. just making this all up as he goes. <laughs> I want to try Devo. It's actually going to be the big gorilla hey. guy. Winston. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, Winston. I love the backgrounds of the characters as well. Winston's a freaking scientist. Well, he has the glasses, so I mean, that's yeah. pretty stereotypical. Like, you have Baby, to be. A, him if you're in so a video cute. game and you have glasses, you're a scientist. I saw him and I Baby basically Winston. went, oh, this is like basically they ripped off Beast from X Men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually but maybe he has glasses as well. But I'm not sure yeah. if she's a scientist. I don't think she's a scientist. Wait, Beast she was is a, a she was a weather person, I think. Oh. I forget the Storm. name. Storm. Storm. I love that. What's it called? These are just so Mimi, Mimi, Mim. Mimi, Mimi. 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 So they they record. Uh, they. It's so memeish. Meme-ish. Meme. Oh. Meme. Is official word? Meme-ish. I don't know. And, I'm just uh, making it up right now. Mimi, she's like a pyro, but ice version, and she actually says, "Do you, do you want to build a snowman?" <laughs> oh, God. Oh, she even says, "You have to let it go." Jesus. I was enticed when you said ice pyro, and now I just. I, I'm internally <laughs> cringing and not wanting to play her at all. <laughs> she she's awesome. Play her exclusively. Uh, yeah, she's adorable. Of the of the game. When, Those puns. When mm. I need to deal damage or like protect the protect the point, but I also want to be shooting from far away, I can use Meg because her her right click is pretty accurate and it reaches really far. I've killed a lot of snipers with her. The fact that you said her right click. Just makes me think that you're like holding a mouse to somebody's head and pushing the right click button really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Fuck you, right click. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make it like a short film of that now. Damn it! It's like get a mouse, get someone to, like stand in front, click, dead. <laughs> We're all quitting our day jobs, and we're going to move people. into, like, an abandoned office building and start making <laughs> high-definition YouTube skits. Of- God, yes. Can we, please, do can we please do this? Like, yes. This is- if I were with Who's you guys, funding the $100,000 for equipment? <laughs> Sorry, Mel, what was that? But if I were with you guys, I could have been helpful because I've done a lot of, like, video editing and stuff back in the uh, days. We could be editing all- buddies. All the cheating with the lights and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> nice. I need to learn some lighting techniques. Mm-hmm. And I've got a two-way lamp that's just kind of, like, aimed at my face. <laughs> What's that? Thankfully, I have a little bit of background knowledge on photography, so I could it's always... I, I have, we have to get together. Theater production yes. Knowledge. Was we gotta team up and collaborate. that told the story wherein he almost got taken in by the cops because somebody was tied at the back of the car. What? What? Yeah, yeah, that was my story. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember it correctly then. <laughs> Wait, I, I feel like you need to share this with us now. Yeah. <laughs> I like how me and Mel knew exactly what's going on and the rest of us were like, Wait, what the like, fuck? What? <laughs> share this with I the mean, internet, for, please. First, first of all, tied? he's First of all, he's running around like scooping eyeballs out of people, and now he's like tying them up in his back seat, like and stereotyping everybody horrifically. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty mm. much, yeah. Mm. So what what happened? Okay, yeah, okay. So the segue to this is that um, there was a like video directing class in my high school that was really kind of a joke. They basically sat around and watched movies all day. And then they had an end of semester project where you had to basically steal your parents' camcorder and make your own shitty home movie thing and write a script for it and direct it. And one of my friends was in this class. 
and we were all, we had a bunch of us that were all cross country nerd buddies and um so we go over to his house and he lives in this like little suburbanite bastion that you know called us sacks and cookie cutter homes and everything um so he's in this cul-de-sac where his house is and i don't even remember the script of this goddamn movie anymore or anything but because i had been growing my hair out for the majority of high school at this point and had the beginnings of the mane that i have now that is my head um i was cat oh and a beard i was cast as the villain character for whatever the hell was going on and one of my other friends don uh had this beater junky car uh a little red sedan thing mm-hmm. and so what we ended up doing is we borrowed his car and then it was actually done that was i don't know if he was supposed to be a hero character or what but i was kidnapping him was the story <laughs> and so we're in this cul-de-sac there's a bunch of there's like another five people that are helping with this and so the scene calls that after a few other things that we'd done um i have don in the back of the trunk and do some like quick little speech and the camera pans over to don in the trunk and then i slam the trunk down and then get in the car and drive away and that's the end of the scene so we put don in the trunk um and so we've got some ropes and duct tape but all we actually do is we du- put duct tape over don's mouth and we just like wrap the ropes loosely around his ankles and uh wrists like they're not even tied or anything because who the fuck cares it's movie magic no one's actually testing his bonds or anything so it just looks like he's tied up and he's the one sitting in the trunk as we're all doing this um very clearly willingly and then you know so we go we do our scene uh he lays in the or he lays himself down in the trunk and do our scene and i say that slam the trunk down go i drive out of the cul-de-sac and then i come back and put it and open the trunk and actually no it had a release so he actually opens the trunk when i shut off the car by himself um and you know because he did wasn't actually tied up throws his bonds off and pulls his own duct tape off his mouth and we all talk and like do we want to shoot it again no it was probably fine um hey is anybody else hungry yeah i'm hungry okay let's fucking just i'm gonna make an edit um or i being the kid that was doing all this for the class was like all right i'm just making a script at it we're gonna do the next scene at mcdonald's so we can all eat (laughs) we're all like fucking cool let's do it so a couple of us pile in don's car that he's driving and then the rest of us pile into another kid's uh he had his van that was like one of those huge vans cargo van thing and so we all go into mcdonald's we pull out of this cul-de-sac and as we're sitting at the stoplight, we see this like black sedan thing just go flying by real quick, being like an asshole. On um, you know, think think the assholes that are like trying to run through lights or something, just blows through the stop sign. What like wow, okay, fuck you, buddy. So we pull out onto the main road, and there's like a T intersection coming up, and we're on the like top part of the T, so there's like a turn on the left coming up on us, and this cop car comes flying at us from the other direction on our the street we're on, lights blazing, going crazy, we're like, holy shit, so we like pull over to the side a little bit, make room for him, you know, flashing lights, and then another cop car comes out of this left lane at the intersection, as which is where we had kind of stopped, and we're both ex- we're expecting these things to go past us and they suddenly just turn and like basically almost ram us off the road um so they like block us in barely like pretty much jam the cars against the curb without actually hitting the cars and the asshole that was in the black sedan was actually an unmarked cop car that pulled up behind us and had us completely boxed in Little did we know that this whole, you know, 
kidnapping in the cul-de-sac scene that we did mm -hmm. yeah the guy that's got the class has a fucking crazy neighbor and calls the neighborhood watch and the police like every other couple days about stupid shit all the time and they normally just tell him to you know take his meds or whatever but <laughs> um yeah no this time we got he called it in with a uh, gang violence, hazing, and possible drug trafficking. <laughs> um, oh. So they actually took that one seriously, and we spent like an hour on the road as a bunch of high school kids getting reamed the riot act <laughs> by the cops because the fucking crazy neighbor called 911 on us. That's insane. So, yeah. Um... Moral of the story is, if you're going to fake kidnap your friends, don't do it in the middle of a suburban city. <laughs> <laughs> or at least call the locals and let them know. That's not fun. That's possible. Yeah, no, if you actually are filming, you should tell the people in the area that you're filming. In the things we just do whatever. Practice, but... mm. Yeah, so, yeah. Needless to say, he didn't actually continue his project. He totally could have, but he's not one of those people that, you know, is that stubborn. So when that happened, he's just kind of like, well, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> what was possibly also funniest was um, that some of the cops that responded were from the city over because they're all part of the same school district. They're all really tiny little cities and townships that are all just slammed together in my area and one of those cities is um like the mayor or councilman or something like that his daughter was one of the kids with us oh so that just made that whole all sorts of the cops go, oh wait a minute i know you what are you doing with these guys <laughs> what are you all doing how's your dad doing like, all right, this is just like a new level of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that's quite an amazing story. So yeah, so, that was my run-in with the police as a kid. We didn't actually do drugs or commit heinous crimes. We got framed for heinous crimes doing <laughs> school projects and still got pulled over by the cops. Now, is there a video that exists of this? No. Oh, that was damn. that was I'm actually oh God, glad I finally that? That was... I was finally right. got this on recording. So I can make an animation <laughs> out of it. That was like oh, that's yeah. true. You could make an you you could totally you before know, I I A animated this. Yep. That would be hysterical. Yep. Um, that would be an hour one minute thirty something. <laughs> oh god yeah we've been going for a while yeah and on that uh, note um is there you know on that story amazing story is there anything else you guys would like to say before we do sign off random Penis. bit of good random bit of good news on the guild wars 2 side especially for the world versus world folk yes. in the house oh, yeah. they're bringing back alpine borderlands um but not this update unfortunately yeah correct It'll be later on coming but... yeah there was a really good post about it that I, I wish I had pulled up that I, I could, as a, a resident World v. World person, really pull apart and go over how awesome it is that they're actually being transparent about stuff. But I can just sit there and stay, as I did on another podcast, the fact that they're even saying, hey, World v. World is a game mode that exists. We realized that. <laughs> we made it in the game. Hi, guys. Like, okay, cool. You haven't acknowledged our existence for like three years, so <laughs> that's a start. Well, there you go. Um, so, yeah, no, there's some good stuff coming in the update. I was hoping they were patch notes, but apparently Anet hasn't released them yet. No. So, but there's some shitty teaser trailer. Whatever. That doesn't tell me what you're Yes, it tells you yeah. absolutely nothing but the legendary bottle that's coming out. That's it. That's all. That's it. And also, like, hint. If you're going by like visual hints, it, it shows fractals, the bow, some like I don't know if it's glider. I don't know if it's just like mm. a new glider or if it's just like they're updating something in the I'm part of Thorne's expansion area. Glider for the next April Fools update. Yeah. Didn't Ain't it fired uh 
a bunch of guys working on the legendary weapons? No, 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 no. They didn't get fired. They um, they got transferred to a different team at the mo- for the moment because of... no one's really sure how the ANET internal structure truly is. Yeah. But oh, apparently, it's... the Living Story people and the Legendary Design people are the same team, and they really wanted to get Legend or Living Story season three finalized and going. And they needed more people to do it. So uh, they pulled people off of the Legendaries team to work on Living St- Season yeah, Living Story Season 3. Um, a lot of us are kind of sitting here still scratching our head going on. they like, yeah, and why didn't you just release Heart of Thorns? Like, you know, a little bit later. this winter instead of last winter? <laughs> And, you know, with all the content, rather yeah. than trying to, you know, save face and produce the no, content that you talked about a, few, a year ago? I had a feeling months. there uh, They had to hype up the game again, because player... Well, players. Probably. But... Heart of Thorns definitely brought a lot of players back. And yeah, but I feel like it also still... lost them just as quickly. <laughs> yeah. Although there I, are a lot of people still playing in the uh, vanilla vanilla maps and then Heart of Thorns map. Only because the vanilla game is free to play now, so it brings a yeah. lot of players in. Yeah. Okay. From experience with uh, game companies, yeah, that happens a lot. Like. Uh, people who are working on client work instantaneously, suddenly the next day they turn into uh, people working in their original IP and stuff like that. Right. Yep. And in fact, that uh, the Broken Age um, Double Fine Adventure um, documentary that I keep talking about and still haven't posted about in the forums because I'm a horrible person that the school is crushing my soul. That's about. fine. I was but, supposed um, to make... Uh... They, they, they talk about that a lot. I was supposed to make a raid guide, ne- raid guide never got to it. Too late already. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, now that this exam is over, I can probably work on some of that stuff this weekend. Also, I have to change the oil on my car. All the things to do. Yep. <laughs> oh, I can throw Get in overwatch. one other gaming-related tidbit that I found out as we've been yammering for the past whatever minutes, yeah. hours, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm one of the few people playing Elite Dangerous, or did play until my computer crapped it out, Elite Dangerous, and apparently they've just announced the next quarter update for their second season, because there's like multiple DLC iterations over the years planned for Elite Dangerous, and avoiding that whole complicated mess of what's going on there. Um, just know that the current package deal is getting a big update soon. Um, but apparently with that big update, they're also updating the core game, uh, at the same time, and uh, some of the things they're doing is overhauling their mission systems, professions, and, uh, a lot of the basic interactions with the systems of the games or uh, of the game to you know make it smoother make it more enjoyable and playable rather than the kind of high-tech menu scrolling experience that it is right now (laughs) (laughs) it's so pretty look at all the menus they're so pretty hey So, they're improving upon all that and apparently making it better. So, we don't have a lot of details. They just announced it. So, but if you're an Elite Dangerous player, could be good news to you because anybody that has the game will get this update. Awesome. They're putting it in beta in early May. So, if you were a backer, you get beta access. Nice. And all right. Yeah, it should hit the hit summer. So, yeah, that would be cool. Awesome. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, with with all of that said, we are going to be ending this podcast. 
and I, I can feel like I do have a bit of a cold today too. So I can feel like my voice is just kind of like going and going as the <laughs> night progresses. So we're, we're going to be ending this. Of caffeine in my system. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> and so with that said, uh, Shro, where can people find you? Um, you can still find me on Steam or at insomniacsanonymous.com. I suppose I can also tell people you can find me on Telegram if you know what the hell that is. Awesome. Um, not on Twitter. At, yeah, no, not Twitter. At Shro underscore cat. Shro's cat, actually. There's an S there. S-C-H-R-O-S underscore cat. There you go. How there. about you, Dude Run? Where can they find you? Uh, Dude Run does things on YouTube and at Dude Run on Twitter. I'll leave links in the description. Awesome. Or either where we go, the. Well, there you go. How about you, Fire Tits McGee? Mm, Insomni Insomniacs Anonymous. I give up my Facebook, but no. No, um, <laughs> no don't do that. <laughs> Insomniacs Anonymous.com. Awesome. How about you, Mel? Where can people find you? I can't give any of my accounts because I'm probably the easiest person. No, yeah, no. That's fine. The easiest person to stop because all of my name is all over there. <laughs> all the ghosts oh, and a robot. They could, and she's not they really could here. Go to, I'm just a freaking ghost. No, they could go to my Tumblr and check out some of my art. There you go. Tumblr works. Yeah. Tumblr works. That's uh, issue five. I S H F I. I got confused. Wait. I'll link it. <laughs> I'll leave a link for it. Okay. Do you want to leave a link? To yeah, it? please. All right, and this is Brian, otherwise known as Brian Guitar Dude, or Brian the A-Hole, or, you know, whatever you want to call me. Or Brian, and the guy who hasn't fed his kidnapped Mick people farts. for this podcast yet. Pretty much. Hey, I pizza. haven't checked his guys, email. Guys, pizza is on its way, I swear. And Overwatch has finished downloading, so guess what I'm doing right oh, after yeah. this podcast? <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dude, I gotta huh? play with you. Okay, let's do this. All right, we're going to do this. All right, guys, so yeah. thank you so much for being here. Podcast we will, see you. <laughs> we will yes. see you next week. Until then, we are the Insomniacs Anonymous, and we are out. Happy we Overwatch. Bye-bye.